In developing this morning, dozens of shots fired on a crowded New York City subway train. The gunfire hitting 10 people while a gas canister thrown by the shooter caused even more panic. And now police say they know who they're looking for. Ezzy Castro is following the latest for us this morning. Ezzy, do police have any idea why someone would do this? And that's the big question this morning, Kirsten. Investigators are still trying to figure out a motive, and investigators have spent almost 24 hours looking for the man they believe may know something about yesterday's shooting. Investigators say this is the man they are calling a person of interest, 62-year-old Frank James. They believe he may be connected to the mass shooting on a subway train in Brooklyn yesterday. That's where 10 people were shot and dozens of others were hurt. All I see was uh, just black smoke. And that's when I got hit. I didn't think, you know, it was serious until I got off the train. I put my pants down and the size of a quarter just gushing out blood. Investigators say a key recovered at the scene led them to a U-Haul van in Brooklyn, which they say James had rented in Philadelphia. Witnesses state the male opened up two smoke grenades, tossed them on the subway floor, brandishes a Glock 9mm handgun, he then fired that weapon at least 33 times. Though there's still no motive, investigators mentioned James did post, quote, concerning videos online. He mentions homelessness, he mentions New York, and he does mention Mayor Adams. And as a result of that, in an abundance of caution, we're going to tighten the mayor's security detail. Detectives believe the shooter's gun jammed, which may have prevented more bloodshed. Meantime, the president is praising the first responders and New Yorkers who helped the victims injured. We are putting that part of the story together for the bottom of the hour.